These are the black communities. We are not allowing any black people to enter inside the gates. We are all here. It's only Ukrainians that they are allowing in. Even the ones with kids, they're not allowing them in. They really have been here for days and nobody is asking any questions. Only Ukrainian women and kids, they are allowing in through these gates. All the place is blocked and all are full of black. From different communities, from different countries, nobody is talking to us. Now y'all see the hell that our people are catching in Ukraine the ukraine they won't even let black people leave they put white people ahead of black people but the black christian church that evil institution keep wants us to pray to a white jesus pray for ukraine and these people despise our guts y'all remember psalm 44 let me just get to the point uh that i want to get psalm 44 and verse 13, thou makest us a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision to them that are round about us. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen. You know what a byword is? Like when they call us nigger, coon, wetback, spick. These are bywords. African-American bywords. Thou makest us a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people. My confusion is continually before me. And the shame of my face has covered me. Why are we confused? Because in the Christian church, they keep lying to us, telling us to pray for these white people, pray to a white God, pray to a white Jesus, and everybody hates our guts. We better leave the Christian church today, brothers and sisters. Leave that evil, filthy institution. And notice ain't none of them speaking on, on this topic. Notice these black, evil Christians are not speaking on the evil done to our people in the Ukraine.